the barrier for entry for using Spring Boot actuators is practically nothing. All you have to do is add the Spring Boot actuator starter to your Palm or your Gradle build file, and you're in the running. I've got Eclipse here. I've got a Spring Boot project. I can use the Spring Tools, look for the Spring Boot actuator in the list of starters to add to my project. That will add it in. More likely than not, you might want to add it to an existing project. Again, it's just editing the palm. I've got an existing project right here. It's a, a RESTful CRUD application that I built in a previous tutorial. It is in it is in Eclipse. So all I have to do is right click, say spring, add starters. Again, I get to that same window, look for actuators and boom, all of a sudden that is going to make some changes to my palm file. I click finish. And now all of a sudden I have got spring boot actuator support in my application. Now I'm from Missouri. I like people to show me things. So I'm going to do a, a quick reboot of that Rashambo application, although spring dev tools is installed. So it probably rebooted on its own. I'm going to come over to localhost 80. 80. Sorry about that train horn in the background. This is a little rock, paper, scissors application that I created in my RESTful CRUD example. I've got some Okta authorization there. And all I have to do to bring up the actuator is say slash actuator and then slash health. Click enter and boom, all of a sudden it says, hey, the status of this application is up. I know that the Spring Boot actuator is now working. So that's super cool. That's how you get the Spring Boot actuator installed. We may as well dig down into that Palm file just for a second. Take a look over here. See that nice little Palm file there. There's that Spring Boot actuator starter telling me that the actuator is actually installed. Now, the next thing we want to do is add some endpoints and even configure this health check so we can get a little bit more information out of it. That is exactly what we're going to do next.